Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniature, and today it's time for our weekly painting progress. And guess what? I got almost nothing completed. Yes, it's true. There are weeks like that, even for me, where I just can't bring myself to paint anything, and I just don't have the time. This week was very hectic with getting everything finished in the house, and it was crunch time at work, and wasn't really home as much as I usually am and if I was I was preoccupied with things anyway we did manage to get the Wolfen Prowler all done or at least done enough and I'm looking at his claws and I'm thinking what the hell was I thinking I need to go back and fix those so I will but I really enjoyed this model I made a very simple paint job on him I admit but he's done nonetheless and he still looks quite quite cool and quite unique for the Wolfen and totally out of focus. Do I have any wolf in handy? I do. I have one from Wrath the Kings. And you can see while he is a bit bigger, they do stack up pretty nicely. But we're not here to look at you. You painted a long time ago, my friend, so be gone. What else did I get done this week? Well, I managed to paint another of the Paymaster games as tech snakes. And I want to say this is the Flame Serpent, and I can't think of his actual name, so I'm not going to try to butcher it. But I will put it in the comments down below if you're curious. And I do try to put a link down below as well for the websites of the companies that, well, are still in production making these things. So I'll put Paymasters down there, and this comes to us from Paymaster Games. And I like it. I like it's got the little spot there in its mouth for, I'm assuming, spit and flames. I have his buddy here. What's cool is they have their mother of quaddles that has, I think both of them, and the Quetzalcoatl, all kind of in little baby form hanging around her, kind of like a Daenerys. So, kind of a cool idea. We also got this big guy done this week, and I had no clue how to paint this, and I want to say he was called like Yahoo or something like that. But he was another one of these Aztec guys. He's supposed to be wearing a coat of feathers. And unfortunately, with the focus not wanting to work as nicely as it should, I did really try to hit a couple of different yellows in there. I figured he would wear a bright yellow suit because, well, why not? And I tried to paint his turtle shell a little bit different just to have it stand out. Unfortunately, right now I can see on screen the color of the gold that he's wearing is really kind of blending in with the rest of his fabulous suit. And I did put a couple other colors here and there just to mix things up. He's supposed to have these obsidian knives. I'm assuming that's what they are. And I just realized I forgot to ever replace that fang. Darn it. Oh, well, he does have another these gold bracelets here, as well as around his feet. And I did try to show the scales underneath it all. So a fun, unique and interesting monster. And I would love to see somebody else's interpretation of it just so I could kind of nod my head in agreement or shake my head in disbelief as I either did decent or horrible at it. But He's done nonetheless, and, and yeah, he's just different, and I, I kind of appreciate that. That, to me, is what these kinds of things are all about, and if you're going to be making all kinds of monster menageries, why not go full tilt and give us craziness and have it based on stuff that actually was believed to have existed back then in the day, because to me, that's even more fun. Where is our witch hunter? Bring me my witch hunter. So just to give you guys a good sense of scale, I know I showed him off once before, but that was before he was painted. So these snakes are a pretty decent size. Uh, you probably could get away with sticking them on an oval or a calf base if you really wanted to use them in ranked up mode with your lizard men. Because honestly, that was my first thought, was these would totally be great for like replacing Razor Dons or something like that. Is that what they were called? Or am I thinking of something else? I'm thinking Razor Gores. Maybe I am. I don't know. Anyway, I think they'd be a nice little replacement or proxy for some of the Lizardmen units out there if you wanted to throw some skinks around him. I mean, they've already got the Aztec Mesoamerican theme going. Why the heck not, right? So, 
Just some food for thought. But that is all we managed to get finished this week. I did start some stuff and my brush is all crapped out. And unfortunately, that's about as far as I got with them. And hopefully we'll show you more next week. But that's that for now. And hopefully you guys got a lot more done than I did. And I will let you all go now. With that said, this is High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Said thanks for watching and hopefully you're out there painting stuff too. Bye-bye for now.